In our lab, we develop new types of hollow fiber membranes. We can assemble these fibers into cartridges and test the flux through their shells. As you can see from this cross-sectional view, the fibers are hollow on their inside and only made of a thin shell. The shell consists of a composite of polymer and nanoparticles. The principle of their use is to push liquids under pressure through their shell. For this purpose, the surface pore size plays an important role. We can tailor the surface pore size of a wide range, as you can see here. The smallest pores result when a thin layer of nanoparticles is formed on the membrane surface. Then the pores are only a few nanometers in size, too small for most objects to fit through. For instance, a typical virus particle size is on the order of 100 nanometers, too big for the pores. Therefore, the membranes operate on the principle of size exclusion. Objects smaller than the pores, such as water molecules, can go through, while objects bigger, such as viruses, cannot. A typical problem of membranes is that their surface pores can get clogged with time, for instance by microbial films. We develop chemical surface treatments for our membranes that prevent bacteria to stick onto the surface. Last, our membranes contain large amounts of nanoparticles. These can have catalytic properties to break down organic contaminants in water, originating for instance from industrial processes. As you can see, our work is focused on the development of multifunctional membranes with a broad range of features designed for water treatment. Providing safe drinking water remains a key challenge in the future. Our research explores the use of polymer nanoparticle composite membranes for this purpose.